Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Here is the model question paper 1 and model question paper 2 for the subject Principles of Communication Systems. So in this subject, there are two model question papers released by VTU uh, for the subject code BEC402. Let us look at the two model question papers parallelly so that you will come to know which are the very important questions in each modules. So here is the left side I have model question paper 1 and the right side is the paper 2. So in the first module you can see here in the model paper 1 define probability and in that probability illustrate the relationship between sample space events and probability is a question asked for 6 marks. In the second question define the autocorrelation and cross relation functions infer the properties of autocorrelation function is asked for 6 marks and the third question is develop a program to generate probability density function of Gaussian distribution function so these are the questions they have given in module 1 as question number 1 in model paper 1 so in the choice question they have asked what is conditional probability prove this they have asked to prove this for 6 marks. Outline random process and illustrate an ensemble of sample functions with a neat diagram. This is the second question they have asked. And show that if a Gaussian process X of T is applied to a stable linear filter, then the random process Y of T developed at the output of the filter is also Gaussian. So you need to show this. This is the model paper 1 questions from module 1. Coming to the second paper, in the probability, they have asked the random variable is said to be uniformly distributed over the interval AB. Determine the probability density function of uniformly distributed RV. So this is the first question. And determine the characteristic function of Gaussian, Gaussian random variable with a given mean and variance. And then prove the following two properties of autocorrelation function of a random process. Here are the two uh, properties you need to prove they have given. And here also they have asked the properties of the autocorrelation function. So this is what the module 1 question is. Coming to module 1 choice question, define correlation, covariance and uh, correlation coefficient. Explain the central limit theorem as applied to the Gaussian random process is the question they have asked. And the last question is define autocorrelation function and cross correlation function. State and prove the properties of ACF autocorrelation function. So properties of autocorrelation function is very important here. In the two papers, you can see that question in module 1. Coming to module 2, let us go through module 2 questions in both the papers now. This is module 2 from paper 1. Interpret the concepts of modulation index, percentage of modulation, write the necessary equations. Here, modulation index, percentage of modulation is the question they have asked. You need to explain them and also the necessary expressions you need to write. And then there is a problem given on AM here. They have given the uh, standard AM broadcast station allowed to transmit a modeling frequencies up to 5 kilohertz. If AM station is transmitting the frequency of 980 kilohertz, compute the maximum and minimum upper and lower side bands and the total uh, bandwidth occupied by the station is the problem they have given. And also the next question is explain higher level collector modulator with a block diagram. So one problem will be there in this module in AM. So then in the choice question you can see outline the diode detector AMD modulator with necessary block diagram and waveforms is the question. And again here uh, is the problem an AM transmitter has carrier power of 30 watts and percentage of modulation is 85%. We need to calculate the total power and the power in one side band and then they have asked to write the block diagram and explanation for fdm systems this is module 2 questions from paper 1 coming to the model paper 2 explain amplitude modulation in time domain and frequency domain with necessary expressions and illustrations this is very important and with necessary schematic of square law circuit and expressions explain the generation of am this is also important Write a MATLAB code to generate the AM and demodulation waveforms and display its spectrums. Here you need to write the MATLAB code uh, to generate AM signal and also the demodulation of that waveform. And coming to the choice question in model paper 2, here you can see the AM transmitter 
with RF power amplifier. Uh, it has DC supply VCC of 48 volts and a total current I of 3.5 ampere and efficiency is 70 percent. What is the RF input power to final stage and uh, how much AF power is required for 100 percent modulation is the problem asked. And the next question is explain with neat diagram amplitude demodulator using diode detector and explain with neat diagrams the working principle of lattice type balanced modulator. This is module 2 questions from the paper 2. Then let us see module 3. In module 3, okay, the very first question in, uh, in paper 1 is compare and contrast FM and AM. So this is also a very important uh, theory question you may get. FM and AM difference will be asked uh, repeatedly and explore with the diagram the concept of frequency modulation with an IC uh, VCO. Block, dra draw the block diagram of super heterodyne receiver. This question also very important and explain the function of each block. So these are the questions repeatedly asked in exams. Uh, there is no surprise here. These questions you can expect easily in exam also. And in the choice question sixth one. Identify a method used to convert phase modulated signal PM signal into a frequency modulated signal. What is the uh, method to use to convert PM to FM? And then define PLL, explain the block diagram of PLL along with capture and lock ranges. PLL question also you can expect easily in exam. Interpret the concept of mixer with a neat schematic diagram. These are the questions from module 3 in paper 1. Coming to the paper 2. Here is the problem on FM. Here they have given the signal to noise ratio of 2.8 and modulating frequency of 1.5 kHz. The maximum permitted deviation is 4 kHz. What are the frequency deviation caused by the noise? And improved output SIN we need to find out. This is the problem for 6 marks. And explain with the diagram frequency spectrum of FM modulated wave. This is the question of second paper. And explain with diagrams the working principle of FM using crystal oscillator. Here the crystal oscillator question is asked. And identify the noise super, uh, suppression effects of FM. And compare and contrast FM using crystal oscillator circuits with FM using characters. So this is again the difference between these two. Explain general block diagram of super heterodyne receiver. You can see here super heterodyne receiver asked here also. And also in the first paper also super heterodyne receiver is asked. So this is very very important. And also the generation of FM and difference between FM AM and PLL is very important. And in AM and FM you can expect one problem. You can see the problem will be something like this. And also in the AM we have seen in the uh, previous module the problem how actually they will ask in AM. So then comes to module 4. What is module 4 questions are you can see what are the advantages of digital signals over analog signals is the first question here and then state the sampling theorem explain sampling with neat sketches and equations what are the challenges faced with Nyquist criteria for sampling develop a program to display the signals and its spectrum so this question can be uh, this includes two questions one is developing a program to display the signals and other one is a theory part that is sampling and uh, Nyquist criteria for sampling. This is very very important. Whenever you take uh, sampling theorem, uh, the question will be there in exam on that. You need to write the expressions and the Nyquist criteria for that. And here they have asked you to write a program to display the signals and spectrum. Then explain the generation and detection of PPM waves with relevant block diagram. And also you can see what, are, what is aperture effect in PAM signals and how it can be minimized. Aperture effects you need to explain and the minimization um, methods. What is multiplexing? Why it is required in communication? Explain the working of TDM. TDM, PCM, PAM and all are very important. You need to understand the necessity and also the concept behind that. And explain the basic elements of PCM systems with neat diagrams. This is for 6 marks. So these are the questions from module 4 they have given in paper 1. Coming to paper 2 again state and prove sampling theorem is the expected question and 
you can expect this question in exam easily a data stream is given for that we need to write unipolar nrz sequence polar nrz unipolar rz bipolar rz and manchester code so this kind of question usually we see in uh, communication paper uh, from vtu explain the generation and detection of ppm waves with relevant block diagram here also you can see the generation and detection of ppm waves is asked here also it is there it is important explain aperture effect in pam signals what are what is multiplexing and the working of tdm and exercise examples from text 2 in the prescribed syllabus of this so here they have given the exercise problems or exercise examples from the textbook 2 in the syllabus uh, 7.3 7.4 7.14 7.17 7 is important so out of these you may get one question that is what the thing they have given over here this is not a particular problem they have included they have just given the textbook as well as the topics through that you need to exercise these examples those are important in exam that is what the meaning over here then you can see module 5 so in module 4 this tdm is important pam question is repeated and also ppm sampling theorem easily you can expect uh, uh, sampling theorem and also the data stream and the generation of these sequences and ppm tdm questions easily coming to module 5 module 5 we have define inter symbol interference outline baseband binary data transmission system with neat block diagram and equations and develop a code to generate and plot i diagram and illustrate the concept of noise in cascade stages with diagram with freeze formula and mention its terms and in the choice question they have asked explain the following concepts briefly Nyquist criteria for distortionless transmission and baseband m array pam transmission develop a code to generate nrz and rz pulse is the question asked and define signal to noise ratio explain the different types of external and internal noises this is about module 5 in the model question paper 2 again they have asked to define the inter symbol interference outline the baseband binary data transmission system uh, with a block diagram and equations write a code to uh, generate and plot i diagram and explain the bandwidth requirements for of t1 systems explain the following concepts briefly again it is repeated from module uh, first model paper and generate nrz rz pulse again it is repeated signal to noise ratio is repeated so if you see model papers from module 5 you can easily expect these questions since they are repeated in both the papers so they are very very important and you can uh, you are not supposed to skip these concepts so that you may get the questions in exam also this is about model papers with respect to the principles of communication systems so these two papers are available in vtv website you can go there and download this and we will try to answer these two papers and try to find the answers for this thank you